Hello and welcome to Divergent Reactions. Today on the channel, brand new video that I've not reacted to before. I say brand new video, it's not brand new. I think it's about eight years old, but it's new to me. This is Aurora and Runaway. I don't think I know any of Aurora's stuff and material, but this has been on my playlist of things to watch. And thank you to whoever requested it. It was so long ago before I took my social media break that I can't remember who it was, but thank you to whoever suggested this. Without further ado, I'm going to get stuck in and see what this song is all about. I have no idea what to expect, by the way. I am not familiar with this artist at all. At least I don't think I am. So. When I was listening to the ocean saw a face in the sand but when i picked it up then it vanished away from my hands Done. i had a dream i was seven climbing my way in a tree i saw a piece of heaven waiting and patient for me Done. And I was running far away Would I run off the world someday? Nobody knows, nobody knows And I was dancing in the rain I felt alive and I can't complain But no, take me home Take me home where I belong I can't take it anymore Right, before it goes on, I guess that's the chorus. Wow. Um... I'm guessing. I don't know. It's a really unfortunate bitch to pause on, isn't it? Let's just. There we go. Let's do a bit of a. It was like it was like a. I mean, it's very fitting for the show, but it was um well, the show. fitting for the song. Anyway, yes. Uh, wow. Okay. I'm guessing. I'm guessing she's Scandinavian. I'm getting a hint of that. There's elements of sort of English accent in there, but it's definitely not an English native English speaker. Um, I presume she's Swedish or Norwegian or something. Finish, Icelandic could be at Den Denmark. <laughs> Sweden's the cliche, but that's what I'm hearing. Um, and this, obviously, the, the the imagery is definitely Scandinavian, but I'm hearing, I'm guessing the song is about, obviously, this idea of running away from your your, your troubles. She says about um, can't take it anymore, take me home, kind of thing which I'm guessing is almost like going back to your youth, I guess, or like back to innocence or something, something's happened. Um, I need to mind the lyrics, actually. Let's have a look. I'm sure there were was there some lyrics. We've done it. Yeah. Okay. I was listening to the ocean, saw a face in the sand, but when I picked it up, then it vanished away from my hands. I had a dream when I was seven. Okay. So there was a reference. When I was seven, climbing my way in a tree, I saw a piece of heaven waiting impatient for me down. So he said in the dream, the child climbing in, away into a tree and seeing heaven. So there's, there's a lot of talk of death and loss and grief in there, I'm guessing. Um, dancing in the rain, felt alive and can't complain. Take me home. I can't take it anymore. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a very poignant song. Very poignant. And the way she sings it so beautifully as well, it's 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 very... You can hear the sorrow in the voice without it sounding pained and agonizing. And it's a, it's a different kind of pain. It's the, this is the introvert's kind of, the introvert's sorrow, I guess. Whereas the extrovert's sorrow would be much more shouty and loud and anger, full of anger. Whereas this is, this is like an internal, internalized sorrow. Painting picture. The picture was a painting of you and for a moment I thought you were here, but then again, it wasn't true, darling. And all this time I have been lying, oh, lying in secret to myself. I've been putting sorrow on the forest place on my show. I like that line, sorry, I paused it there. That was really nice. I was like, I put sorrow on... I've been putting sorrow on the farthest place on my shelf. Interesting. Again, farthest and farthest, furthest, farthest, furthest. 
Oh my god, my English. <laughs> I'm an English student. Um, yeah. For for the for the farthest, you can say farthest. Farthest. Yeah, that's really interesting. This is, I love that line. It works. It works with it. It works. It just works. The idea that you, it's almost like bury. It's like people use the phrase bury in it a lot, don't they? You buried it under the carpet, like sorrow on the shelf. Is a great interpretation. Like it's there. You can see it. It's up there. It's on a shelf, and you can see it, but it's just far away, out of reach. As opposed to the 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 euphemism of euphemism. As opposed to the metaphor of under the carpet, under the rug, brushing it under the rug. So that's kind of putting it out of sight. Whereas this is on the shelf, it's still there, you can see the sorrow. And that's really interesting. And I like that dynamic a lot. Um also six eight rhythm did it reminds me of like um a lot of ballads are in six eight, so that's quite interesting. That it's Normally, that sort of rhythm you would reserve for a romantic song. Normally, um, "Design for Life," Mike Street Preachers, one of my favorite songs of all time, is another one in six eight that isn't a love song. Um, that's a much more angry, powerful, socio political song. But this is another another interpretation of taking something that is traditionally used more for a different style of expression. That was really interesting that little bit of what i would call the sprinkling of happiness in there and innocence and that whole like optimism and the the major key positivity and all that kind of stuff you know the stereo it's, it's very cliche to say you know minor keys are sad and major keys are happy because it's not always that way but it's, it's it's the easiest way of explaining it um it gives it gives a more ethereal kind of optimistic vibe and then I'm guessing this is falling back into, this is going to fall back into some sort of subtlety, something of a kind of, I keep running for a soft place to fall. I kept running for a soft place to fall, and I kept running for a soft place to fall. And I kept running for a soft place to fall And I kept running for a soft place to fall And I was running far away, would I run love the world someday? so beautiful as well like her voice is beautiful and there's like a, there's like a really in this there's like an innocence to it as well that and a lot of the visual imagery kind of portrayed it's like a purity and innocence of it it's like um running away from it but then running away taking home i'm lost but no, run away 
run away, I'm lost, take me home. That kind of path journey. Um, not knowing what's coming ahead. Yeah, this is deep. This is deep. This is good. I'm going to have to check out more of his stuff. Let me know what songs I should react to next. Um, and other, other artists as well. And if you've enjoyed this, thank you for watching this, getting this far. Please like and subscribe and press the notification bell so you'll know when all my videos go up. And um, yes, I'll see you next time for more reactions. Thank you.